So my next video is, is Armor King. Now Armor King is pretty straightforward enough. He doesn't really have a stance apart from the shadow step thing. So he's a pretty straightforward enough character fight. His tracking is very weak. So if you go right against Armor King, that is generally the better side to um, step him. So for example, uh, jab into down four, you can side set right duck. Jab down four, you can side set right duck. Jab into this, so you can uh, also size that right duck against this. Jab into this, then three, you can also size that. Then three tracks this direction, so if you try to step this way, it'll track. But if you size that right duck, you'll block it. Or size that right into low parry. You can also go left to make a whiff. Or I think you should be able to. Mm. Okay, I would just stick to side side right duck then in that case. It's the same as be same as always. And uh, against two one, you can stand up and block in time to block the second hit. Because the second hit tracks of two one, but you can side side right duck and then stand up in time to block. And then jab into jab, you can side side right duck. So as you can see, side side right into duck against Arm King up close is a very strong option. So you're gonna start. You're gonna have to start making him delay his moves. So like delay his down forward one, for example, like uh, like a jab into down forward one. You have to make him like delay it just to track with you and delay that enough. So for example, if he delays it, you can stop him. But he's very prone to being Kendra Hish. I, I think more than most characters. And Oscar gets 4 into Ford 4 and Armor King as well. Character exclusive combo. So, um, yeah, size that right into Duck is very strong against Armor King. And when you start making him use his homie moves or delay his attacks, you can start doing uh, magic 4 on him. So just try and keep that in mind. So there's some stuff like some strings. Uh, I'm not going to go over all the strings, but here's some common ones like Damn it, through 3. You can actually size that right this. You can step it one direction if you think it's coming. So if you think he's going to do it in the mid, you can step it for a full combo instead of just getting your punish. Now he does have a high version which he can't step. Alright, did mid again. He can't step the high version, so you're just going to have to duck it. So if you want to. Take the read and step the mid, you can go for it for a full combo or duck the high and uh, launch him for it. Uh, so, some stuff like uh, this move is really good for Army King Season 3 because it's more hit confirmable. So you just have to uh, duck the last hit. Make sure you duck the last hit. I'm pretty sure the first two hits are safe. They are safe, I'm sure. And it's very hit confirmable and counter hit for Armor King. So make sure you duck the last hit if he does it. Uh, there, there is. Ooh. Ah, yeah, so his jab string. So one, one, two, one. One, two, one. It's very strong jab string for Armor King. But Asuka can actually. Um, two, two plus three? No, she can't. If he, if he delays it, he can two plus three up. If he does, if he delays the third hit, you can actually do two plus three on it. But just be careful, because if he doesn't delay it, then you're going to get hit. But you can reversal it. You can chicken it, obviously, but the option is there to reversal it. And if he does um, two one, you can also reversal this as well. Again, keep in mind he doesn't. Uh, Chicken, -ish, chicken out of it, or jab into bay or re reversal. But the option is there as like a little clutch thing. The option is there. Uh, let's see, uh, down for two is important because it tracks both direct. It actually stops, um, it actually stops uh, Asuka just stepping them up close. So down for two, one, two, three ish, or down for two, down for two, one, you can duck. Down for two on its own, you have to do two, three ish. So start forcing them to use this, start forcing them to use this. So you can punish it when he when he gets uh, sick of you stepping him up close. Let's see, uh, over two. This is minus ten. I'm not going to go over it in detail. This is minus ten. Uh, four, 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 four is a wall pen. It's minus fourteen. You can punish it easier up close against the wall. If he's doing it against the wall, it's minus fourteen. You can punish this. Okay, now this there's a string he has. So this is 
This is minus 14 on its own. But if he does the follow up, you can uh, interrupt. But oh, you, you, you can interrupt your punish, but you can child float. So with, with one. It'll punish the second hit and it'll float the third hit. It'll punish the second hit and it'll float the third hit. So um, keep that in mind against Den 2 4 and Den 2 4 3 follow ups. Okay, so I feel like his evasive shoulder is very important to talk about because it, it avoids a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to switch to two characters Armor King and Asuka. So, let's say if he did 4 4 1 on block into back 4, Armor King he faded with, with his um, evasive shoulder. The only thing that beats this is um, if you do over this into block on into down front one it'll track back one plus four that direction now it's it's important to try and stuff this out or make a whiff by baiting it like movement because oscar gets actually can actually struggles to punish it hard i'll show you when i switch back to characters so let's say if you do down front one and hit into back four this should track it yeah it will track it so if, if you do down forward one and hit into back four It'll track, it'll track them. So it's 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 little frame situations like that you have to remember. Or um, back four into then back three, it will track him doing that as well. But I think if you do then back four, back back four into then back four, you'll lose. So you have to you have to know what moves work at what what advantage. Uh, so for example, um. Like if you do back four and hit into down for two, this will lose as well. So back four into back four is what you need to do to stop this. So just keep, keep in mind what your options are. Let's switch back. Back to Asuka, back to Armor King. Now here is a weak... Now, why I say it's important to move away from this or to stuff it on counter hit with the right buttons is because the move is actually really difficult to punish. As you can see, it has a lot of pushback, so Asuka's 2 3 actually whips on it. Even if you neutral guard it, it actually whips. And Offer 2 is, uh, offer two is not punished, it's minus 13. So, as you can see, as you know, 2 3 is very risky to have it blocked because it's launch punishable. So, Realistically, in nearly all situations, Asuka won't get punished on this move. That's why I'm saying it's important for you to uh, make a make a whiff by proper movement, and then we're punishing it, or just stuffing it. Like for example, just stuff it. Um, if you hit him, do the right move and stuff him out of it. So just keep that in mind. Okay, against uh, three plus four stuff. So three plus four into the. I think it was the. Uh, sorry guys, I forgot how to do the input for the deepest power into... You hold it, that's what I'm doing. What? Okay, okay, sorry guys, I'm stupid. Okay, do that and let's see what... Into the two and let me... This. And then the other option is uh, the one, okay. So what you want to do against this sequence on block is you side set right into quick block. So you can whip punish the the, air, the grab thing. You can whip punish the grab. The high will whiff and you just do 4-2. The high will whiff and you just do 4-2. And you'll block the mid. If he tries to stand up afterwards, you can get uh, while standing 3 in the back. So size that right into quick block against the uh, 3 plus 4 stuff on block. So that's important. And at range, when, when you're at range, you want to duck against CD1 because CD1 is actually a really difficult step if possible. So you want to duck at range against this. And also at 4 for 3, which is a homing high, which is neutral on block. 
So it's a really good approach tool for Armour King. So you want to like duck it against this at range and of course against Dock Upper as well. So against Dock Upper, Crash Dash 1 and 443. So at range it's not a bad idea to backdash duck against these options. So if I do the... And then the... the Okay. So it's not a bad idea to backdash duck. And then, you know, if he whiffs them while well, selling three of them. So backdash into duck is a good idea against Armor King, in my opinion. Uh, see, uh, now this is kind of a cheesy thing. But uh, a lot of Armor Kings like to do um, the Mach 3 on hit. The Mach 3 on hit into what's well, to, which is a counter launcher. What you can do is you can actually side set right this only on player two side because it leaves him crouching. On player two side, you can step while standing two. You can step while standing four in either direction on either side. So you gotta um, watch out for that. But if, if they like to do while standing two, then you know on player two side, you can step it. And one more string I need to show you guys. So back two one is minus 12 by itself. It's hit confirmable. And I, th I think. And then back two one two, which is a safe high, which you can duck against. Obviously, if he if he commits to it on block, you can duck against it. Now Oscar has a wee option select, so you can dick you can dick trap, which will interrupt the follow up, and it will punish the second hit by itself. I'll pull that off real quick. It will interrupt the second hit by itself. So if you're not sure, just dick dick trap interrupt. And against his grabs. That's just the kind of stuff you need to practice troll breaking against. So is this giant swing? Actually, let me talk about this standing one. This while standing one on block. It's only minus 10. It's very abusable against Asuka. So in my opinion, instead of punishing this, sometimes it's better just take your um, mix up on block. Or whatever, you know, because you're not going to get much damage off this. Or maybe you can jab and then do stuff. Up to you, but sometimes it's okay to take a mix up. Uh, what else is there? There is also, yeah, his grabs. So his giant swing is a one break. I can't do it, apparently. It's wifey execution right here. So giant swing is a one break. Uh, Hades drop is a one plus two break. So you just got to remember all this stuff. Uh, DDT is a one plus two break as well. Uh, he had something else. He had this uh, headbutt thing is a two, is a, a two break. And there was something else. Shining Wizards are two break, obviously. And Tombstone. How can I ever get Tombstone? Tombstone is also a two break. So. And uh, his Crouch Dash option. Uh, let's see. He has a. Chain Grab. He has a Chain Grab out of the Crouch Dash, which is a 1 plus 2. So if you react to the Crouch Dash and a grab, just assume it's 1 plus 2. But obviously, you can do um, Crouch Dash into other trolls or whatever. So just. Practice your troll breaking, especially it's very important against Armor King. And that's it for this video, guys. He's a straightforward enough character. I mean, there's not much to see, really. So, um, practice your troll breaking. Side side right duck against him up close. At range, back dash, back dash into duck. And then just remember the OSs I showed you. And thanks, guys.